Hello, Southern Soul Tarot friends. Thank you for joining me again for another channeling afterlife reading. This time we're going to be doing Paul Walker. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and lay out the board, cut the cards, and then I will bring y'all back so that we can go ahead and start the spread. Again, I want to thank you for joining me, and I'm so excited that y'all are here to um, do this reading with me. So it'll, we'll see y'all again in just a minute. All right, Southern Tarot, Southern Tarot fam, we are doing the channeling and afterlife reading on um, Paul Walker. He was an American actor. He started in the 70s through the 80s, but wasn't really noticed until he got into about the 90s when he was doing the soap opera, uh, The Young and the Restless. He was born on September 12th um, of 78 in Glendale, California. Glendale, California, excuse me, that makes him a Virgo. Uh, he died November 30th, 2016, Valencia, Santa Clarita, California. He also had a daughter. So, we're going to go ahead and do, um, it could be the months, days leading up to his death, um, whatever he chooses to show us. Um, we're going to do that um, on the outside row here. In the middle row, we are going to do, um, once he passed, uh, what he, um, or not once he passed, but the day he passed, and then on the very and and at the end, towards the end of the row will be when he passed, and then going to the third row on the right, it's going to be after he passed and how he felt about it. So I'm gonna go ahead. I pre-shuffled the cards. I'm gonna shuffle them again. And like I said, once again, I want to thank y'all for joining me. Um, if you check out my about section, I do um private readings. There's the first one is fifty percent off, and then after that, it's still pretty reasonable prices. Um, so like if you have, if you want to do a private reading, go ahead and check out that area. It's got more info about the channel. One second, I'm going to ask a question. Okay. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start now. I would like to know what was going on in the days and the months weeks leading up to his death. What was going on in the days, weeks, and months leading up to Paul Walker's death? How did he... Okay, so the days leading up to his death, he was feeling Ace of Swords in reverse. Um, the Ace of Swords in reverse can uh, is usually a um, uh, an idea, uh, uh, an action, and it looks like there was something, some type of um, brand new idea, brand new action that he was, all, or a brand new, uh, and when I say action, I mean like project of some sort uh, that he was offered, and I think that he declined it, or there was something bad about the offer. We'll clarify that the clarifying cards, but let's see why the Ace of Swords is reversed. The Ace of Swords is now, this is going to be um, the Hermit Reverse. Now, the Hermit is also known as a Virgo card because, and he was a Virgo. So, whatever offer this was, it kind of threw him off balance a bit. Um, but he did, you know, come to a point where he made a decision about what this offer was going to be leading up to the days before his death. There was also the Empress Energy, which is going to go underneath the Hermit. Um, the Empress energy reverse. Uh, the, the Empress is usually uh, represents Taurus, so usually it's a fertile energy. Um, it's about growing new projects, like like the Ace of Swords. You know, it's uh, new projects, um, new cycles, all of that stuff. So let's see what happened on the day that uh, that he was getting ready to pass. Let's do, just do one card. Okay. On the day he passed, he was actually feeling Ten of Pentacles, which means he was very happy, actually, at, with his life um, at the time that he passed. Um, not, you know, being happy with what happened to him that day, but being happy at that point in his life. He felt that he had maybe... Um, accomplished a lot of things and maybe a little bit more and I think that he was very proud of that and 
a lot of the interviews that you see of him leading up to uh, his death, he does like he is very in a, a very cheerful mood, very happy, very, and he was doing a lot of projects to help other people. So let's see why the the Ten of Pentacles is also here on the day he passed. Um, the Two of Pentacles showed up after again. Pentacles is here, so we have more Earth sign, which would be him, which would be Virgo. So now we have three cards on the board that represent Virgo. So, um, we're going to see why the Two of Pentacles is here. I know that he had a choice to, um, take the car ride or not take the car ride. He chose to take the car with his friend, and that's supposed to be the one that ended up where they, I believe, ran into a tree. So, let's see why the Two of Pentacles is here for that day. Alright, you got the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is going to go underneath the Two of Pentacles. So, he decided quickly. The information came in quick. Like, hey, let's go ahead and have this car ride. Let's go on this car ride. Let's see what happens. You know, it's, it's going to be fun. It's it's fast. It's this, it's that. Because he enjoyed cars. So, I think maybe that's what the information that came in. You know, someone had came along and, and offered to take him so that he could enjoy himself. And so, and he took that offer. And, um, and the uh, Wands are also action. So, he, you know, he took that car ride. So let's see why, um, right after he passed, you have the Queen of Cups in reverse. The Queen of Cups can be in reverse because uh, usually she's uh, intuitive, psychic. Uh, she it can be in control of her emotions, but when she's out of her like out of her energy, she can not have a good grip on her emotions. So um, people, uh, you know, whether it was him, because you know the Queen of Cups is a water sign, but it it doesn't have to be. It could just be how he felt. He felt very sad that he passed so quickly in that. But I feel like he felt like he wished he could have told his daughter goodbye. I feel like that's what made him sad. I don't know what sign his daughter is, but um, that's what I feel like made him sad. Right after that, we have the Nine of, of Wands underneath that. The Nine of Wands is kind of like, I think he surrendered to the fact that he died. I don't think he was scared of death. Um... I think it was something that he he knew, like, like when all people die. Like for me, I am scared to death of death. <laughs> so like I, it just I don't know. It's just something that it scares me because it's the unknown. But I I do know that I I had watched it every one time, and he kind of you know said as long as he had a happy you know he like which is showing the ten of pentacles was how he feeling when he passed that he would be okay not okay but would accept it that it's it's everybody's going to eventually so let's see why the nine of wands is here too for him so he has his three of wands in reverse i think he might have the three of wands in reverse because um before with if it would be upright it would be for him waiting um possibly for something to come in for him and i think at this point um, maybe he knew, like, maybe this was part of his life plan. He knew it was going to happen. Usually you have numerous outs. Usually it's about two, two, three, um, uh, outs that you make in your life, uh, in your, um, basically life plan. When you come to earth, you have two or three outs of being able to say, okay, you know, this, I've had enough. This isn't going the way I want to go. I, you know, I'm going to take this out and pass. So I think he was, for whatever reason, he went ahead and he chose that particular out because he felt at peace with it with his soul. So let's do the clarifying cards. All right, again, I have already shuffled the cards and cut the deck, but I'm going to go ahead and do it just really quickly one more time. As we've spent too much time with the deck, you know. So hold on. Okay, so we're going to see why the Ace of uh, one, uh, Swords is reversed, excuse me. Um, whatever offer he was given, he didn't want. He uh, refused the offer because here it is again. It's the Earth sign. He's got his Four of Pentacles in reverse, which means that uh, he didn't um, take the offer so much. And usually when the Four of Pentacles is upright, it's like holding on tight. But now he's kind of like letting go. And he's going to go. And underneath that is the Hermit. In reverse, which means he was, 
maybe learning to let go of more material things and use more of your um, kind of third eye, like the chakras and, and your spiritual energy. So I think that could be why the hermit's there next to uh, underneath the four of pentacles. Let's see why the hermit is here. The four of pentacles is here. All right, that's too many cards, Spirit. Let's just do one. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles again, another Earth card. Um, I think he felt that he worked hard through his life, and I think that he had. I think he worked very hard to get the things that he had, and I think he was very proud of them. So I think he went into uh, deep introspection about that, and I think that um, he felt that you know, once he came out, he felt that, yes, I did do the hard work and I, and I do deserve the accolades for that. Now, underneath that, though, next to the Empress, you have the Nine of Cups in Reverse. Now, the Nine of Cups in Reverse is a little bit of overindulgence, but, um, it's not the worst thing. Like I said, uh, you know, it's like you can see, like, uh, coming out of the Eight of, you know, he could, like, this way, it's usually he's just kind of proud of his cups and, and what he's accomplished. So, you, you know, he could have just been very proud of himself and that's okay you know it's, it's good to be proud of yourself and have confidence and so let's see why the ten of pentacles is here i think uh the ten of pentacles is also i think could be related to the eight of pentacles i think he felt hard he had done a lot of good hard work and so um i think that he felt that you know again he had gotten to the ten of pentacles in this life and i think that is reconfirmed again because the Ten of Pentacles showed up again. So you have the Ten of Pentacles next to the Ten of Pentacles. So he was super happy. He, there's a lot of earth on this board. So um, I definitely feel like his energy, he wants you to know that he is okay with uh, communicating with everybody. So the Two of Pentacles uh, came, has the Four of Swords reversed next to it. I think the Swords of uh Four of Swords reversed next to it is because it's an intellectual, um, I'm sorry, not intellectual, is because he was coming out of um, the decision making, and so he went ahead, you know, he, he thought about it for a second, he used his mind, and he went, and he went ahead and chose between the two and went for the car ride, and the Eight of Wands underneath that with the quick communication that he made the decision, and he was ready to go. Now, the Seven of Cups came out for this Eight of Wands, and I think that came out because it was an impulsive decision for um, an earth sign usually to make, but he did like car rides. So, I mean, like, not car rides, but, like, fancy cars and fast cars and things like that, like uh, most you know, like men do. So, uh, I think that's why the Seven of Cups there. I think it was just, like, he just saw all these cool cars and was just excited and he wanted to go. So, let's see after he passed why the Queen is reversed. Why is the Queen of Cups reversed? Because someone came up to maybe offer them a bit of emotion once they passed, you know, and he was sad, you know, that he couldn't see his daughter. I think that's maybe why, I, I said, again, I don't know if she is a water sign, his daughter, but um, I think he was trying to, from the other side, offer a bit of emotion uh, to her. Um, I think the reason it's a page is because he had just passed, so he had didn't have enough energy to maybe give as much um, spiritual healing as he wanted to. So let's see why the Nine of Wands is here. Um, because you have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So even though he accepted, you know, that it was happening and that he was passing, he still wasn't happy about it. Um, or other, you know, and other people in his family weren't happy about it, obviously. I mean, it was unexpected. It was shocking and, you know, that's, just devastating to lose somebody unexpected. I mean, to lose anybody in general, but to unexpectedly. I mean, you, there's so many things you don't get to say and do. So that I'm sure you know very a b bunch of people w were upset. I'm sure, as a you know, he. I'm sure he was. Like I said, I wish. I'm sure he wished he would have been able to say goodbye to his daughter. So let's see why the three of wands is reversed. The three of wands is reversed because the two of pentacles is underneath it in reverse. And I think it's underneath it in reverse because I think he realizes now, you know, he made an impulsive decision. He didn't really weigh out the two options as well as a Virgo sign or sign um, usually would. 
So I think sometimes, you know, he might regret that decision of just not thinking about it a little bit harder, but I don't think he regrets what he did when he was here on Earth. So let's do the Purpose of Life card and see what he has to tell you about um, his passing and what he wants you to know for your own life and that he wish he would have done more of or less of. Let's see. All right, it came out quick. So music, actually, which is interesting. Um, he has music. He says, your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. So I don't know if he was into certain uh, bands or if he, if he played music, but that is the card that he has for you. So, again, you know, I just want to thank you for joining me. And I'm glad that you could, um, you know, click on the video and and be a part of it with me and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did if you, and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, please share, like, and comment also. And I will be doing another reading again soon. I have more information in my about section if you want to check that out. Um, and again, I want to thank you for joining me for the Paul Walker um, channeling of his afterlife and happy holidays to those who are celebrating it. Thank you again for joining me. Goodbye, Southern Soul fam.